What is up guys, Matthew Moore here. Today's video is about a special individual, a producer that I've been following all year and enjoying basically every song that has come out. That of course is Nitty Gritty. The EP is four tracks long, but let's get into it with the first song, Money. Yep, we're already, we're already there. So it sounds like a yellow claw type drop. It's a big ass elephant horns. Double drop. Okay. Oh! Jesus. That's so sick, the fucking like twerk drop. One for one, one for one baby. One for one so far, I can see that lead, especially in the first drop, having that sort of um, ability to cut through the crowd. And what I mean by that is there's certain drops that when you hear it live, uh, it gathers people's attention and it brings that energy more so than other songs just because it has like sort of that banger structure doesn't make it necessarily a banger so this song kind of has a lead sort of similar to Crack um, while there are different styles of songs I can never see it having that ability just to cut through a huge crowd and I'm curious to see what DJs are going to start playing this song so one for one next song is I Got It featuring Malibu <laughs> Okay, we got. I like the vocal filter on the raps. More trap. It's a trap EP. Very dirty. Very, very rough. Definitely inspired by, you know, that new generation of trap artists like Glades or Heckler. And Malibu. I don't know who Malibu is. Is he also in that that scene? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Has that really turned up first drop to catch your attention? And the second drop here was a little bit more uh, like ratchet. It was like a more ratchet trap drop. And I thought it came up really well. Like, it's sort of like a big surprise. You expect like the super turn up drop, but you get this more funky, nasty sort of um, second drop. Definitely gonna be adding this to like, you know, the gym playlist. I can definitely see also the Trap Boys playing the song a whole bunch, so shout out to the Trap Boys. You're gonna like this one. Next up is Tell Me. It's better not be an anthem. I just need the heat right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm just never a huge fan of the, like the amateur melodic rap. It's not amateur. It's just we know who the best is at this, and this is obviously you know a solid effort at best. Decent future bass drop though. The thing about these like future bass meets hip hop combinations, R.O. Grime had one on his last project, Getter had one on his last project, Lou the Child does it, but they do it really well because they have this cool and fun style, like they don't take it too seriously. I'm not sure if they're like, these songs are like hot in LA, hot in like West Coast, or like Florida, whatever, but Lonely Me in my fucking bedroom, listen to this stuff, not too impressed. Sick of mode flip, I'd rather hear like a Post Malone flip. Just not too impressed by the the bars, the melody. So I think that drop is pretty cool. We've heard Nitty Gritty do Future Bass before. I just think the interlude to me was just kind of boring. Last song is Drive featuring Eliminate. I wanna win. This beat's a bit more interesting. It's like nocturnal, trappy, of course. And it did not like meander too long. We're getting right into this drop. Yeah. 
So overall, clean project, I think. Nitty gritty, keep them coming. I know you got them. That's, that's a fact. I think I'm adding all the songs maybe except for Tell Me, just because that's not my cup of tea, but he didn't necessarily misstep in production or execution of that song at all. I think that song was actually pretty solid. Let me know what you guys thought about the song below. This has been the first reaction to Drive by Nitty Gritty. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.